Hey guys, it's John with Real Blue Custom Rods, and welcome back to another episode on the truth about Hitna's ST Wrap Zebra Stripe Metallic Thread. Um, and today's color is going to be um, their ZS Green 2 or number 1607. Um, again, it's a metallic thread, um, comes on 100 yard spools. And again, today's uh, color is ZS Gray. Um, and so let's go ahead and get started. So I've already have my line on my wrapper. I'm gonna come down here. And you know, from a quick look at it, it just looks like a metallic silver thread. Um, but let's see what kind of pattern we get here on this rod blank. Do a little tug. I'm really excited to see how this color comes out today um, because personally, um, I'm really on the hunt um, for some lighter colors um, that are gonna, you know, do, give me some different patterns. Um, kind of some jade colors, um, grays, blues, um, silver. So um, this kind of falls right in there. So again, I, I'm interested to see how, how this color is gonna come out. So we, we've got our thread started here. We're gonna go ahead and cut that working in. And then what we're gonna do um, is we're just gonna start spinning this rod here, lighten up the tension on my tension rod. And let's see what's gonna happen here. So look at that already it gives us kind of three different colors of this trim band. You can see the grays and the blues, um, but really this metallic silver is very prominent um, in this version of this thread. So let's see how it continues to roll. I think historically based off the first two that we did, it's gonna maintain really a very um, symmetrical pattern, if you will. I think it's gonna to continue to, to repeat itself um, just based off the diameter of this rod that we're using. Um, somebody asked me in a previous, um, one of the previous videos I did what they thought, it, you know, what I thought it would look like on a, um, a bigger diameter or larger diameter blank. Um, how would that change up these uh, patterns right here? Um, and to be honest, what they will do is the larger the diameter you have with this brand of thread, the tighter or the thinner these lines will be. Um, you can see that um, on an example when I did the um, gold leaf, the variegated gold leaf, uh, wrap that I did for the uh, for the dragon scale wrap. Um, and you can see that video up here in the right hand corner. And in that video, when I do the over wraps on top of the black thread, um, I'm using that persimmons thread. Um, and you can see, you know, um, how by putting it on a larger diameter rod, these lines, um, or what I would like, to, what I like to call these kind of like tag wrap looking pattern here, get to be thinner or tighter, however you want to look at it, but I like this gray color, ZS gray, again by Hetna. <clears throat> so we'll just keep this going for a little bit. You can see the patterns are very, uh, you know, it has a very sequential pattern to it. Um, it maintains kind of the same thing. So we got like a light color, go to the silver, go to the gray, back to the lighter color, back to or the silver, back to the white, and it just repeats itself. Um, but I do like these colors. I'm very pleased with the colors that come in this kit. Again, that is a kit of 10 spools of size A thread at 100 yards each. And they come in, you know, of course, as you saw in the beginning, they come in a little case, a little plastic case to keep them protected, you know, store them easy somewhere. 
And then what I really like about these threads is you can use these um, really for anything. I mean, I think you can use them as standalone wraps. Um, I think you could put them, you know, on a under wrap for, you know, like a heavy weight um, salt or freshwater rod build that you're making. Um, and I think it would add a lot of, uh, of cool character to the rod. I think these would be great under wraps. Let's back this off a little bit, keep going. We're just gonna go for a little bit more. And be honest, I really don't think you're gonna get much change um, out of this pattern based on the diameter of the rod, <clears throat> unless, you know, the diameter, um, you know, had a, a a quick change in it um you know based on how the rod is built so if i just yeah so we're we're just over an inch and a half um we'll just go for a little bit more we'll go to about two inches and then we'll just kind of call it quits on this one uh and then we'll jump over and do something different with this and see how it comes out So I, again, I really do like these colors. Um, let me know what you guys think. Let me know uh, down in the comments right now if, if you guys like these colors uh, and you think they're kind of cool and it's something that you could work with. Let me down. Let me know down in the comments block what you uh, think you could do with it, uh, and make sure you hit the like button. And then also, if this is your first time to my channel, welcome uh, to Real Blue Custom Rods. And if you have not yet subscribed, please uh, subscribe and turn on notifications. That way. Um, you'll get notified every time I publish a video, which is on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. And you can see the different types of stuff that, uh, that I'm doing here. So that's about two inches. So I think we're going to call this one quits. Um, let's go ahead and tie this one off really quick. Two, three, four, five, and six, one for good measure. Run that thread through there. All right. Pull it tight. Burnish tool. Flatten that down. Razor. Cut that working end off. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come down here. And we're going to mess around on some mesh tape. And we're going to do a little dragon scale work. Again, I'm going to go quite quickly on this. Um, just once I get it started here, I'm going to go kind of quick, you know, for the sake of time again. I know you guys have a lot of other videos you probably want to watch. Hopefully it's on my channel. If it is, awesome and thank you. Um, and if it's not, that's okay. I hope you are enjoying whoever's videos you guys decide to watch. So me. Tighten that up. We're going to make a cut really quick. All right. And then I'm just going to help burnish this down just a little bit in the beginning. Just to make sure we're getting a good start. And then I'll go pretty fast. So we're going to see how this is going to come out on this dragon scale. Again, I'm just taking my time here in the beginning. All right, and so we're getting this dragon scale going. Uh, you know, there's something else I think I'd, I'll talk about is um, I've been asked quite a bit lately. Um, you know, people making comments about like, hey, power wrapping, you know, get a power wrapper. Um, and 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 power wraps, power wrappers are fine and they're great. And quite honestly, they save you um, a great amount of time if you're doing a lot of rod builds and you're doing long stretches of wraps. Um, power wrappers are great. Um, 
but part of my thing um, is every rod that I build um, is hand wrapped, right? And um, I mean, hand wrapped by me, um, not power wrapped. Um, and, you know, I'm sure maybe someday um, I'll decide to go to a power wrapper. Um, but I don't, I don't think that that day is going to come anytime soon. Um, and I think just think that's part of, part of my thing. Um, you know, I think that uh, is part of my story, I guess, if you will, um, to my, uh, the fishing rods that I build. So when someone buys a fishing rod from me, um, you know, part of the story is, hey, it's hand wrapped. Um, you know, and, and you just don't get that when you go to a lot of places, you know, sporting goods stores and all that stuff. You get those mass produced rods and all that other great, interesting stuff. So really quick, we're cruising right along with this dragon scale wrap on this mesh tape. Of course, we have the same pattern, but it looks slightly muted a little bit, right? Like those stripes that were pretty prominent. They look a little muted when you put the pattern underneath them from the dragon scale or from the mesh tape, which is totally fine. Um, but we will we'll compare them here in a little bit. All right. So I'm just going through tightening some things up. Okay, so we're about a little over halfway done on this wrap already. And you can definitely still see the stripes, you know, they're still the same. But that pad those patterns are just slightly muted, um, you know, by the pattern, you know, created by the mesh tape, the dragon scale look that we get. And I, I really like that. So what you really have is it's more it's more metallic-y, um, it's more reflective, uh, and then you can really see the dragon scales in it. But these stripes um, tend to be seem to be a bit less um, pronounced. So we'll just keep going a little bit. And I'm, again, I'm just trying to go quick here, guys, for the sake of time. But I do want to just tighten some stuff up. So I'll probably get a new piece of mesh tape on here. All right. And so we're getting down towards the end. All right. Okay, bear with me, guys. Almost done here. Almost done. Yeah, I messed up a little bit there, but it's okay. This is instructional purposes only in this video. I think I had a little bit of thread double up over itself, but it is all right for right now. All right. Okay, and I'm just going to go ahead and tie this off. Right, 
cut that off. All right, pull that snug, take a burnishing tool, tighten that up a little bit. We'll cut this tag end off, and then we'll do some comparison. So again, this was very quick, so please don't judge. Let's move some of those little spots out. But again, so this is the Dragon Scale Wrap with this ZS Gray um, color from Hitna, um, the Zebra Stripe Metallic. Uh, thread. So this is what that um, dragon scale pattern looks like. And then if we compare that to this, um, this is the same thread, but without the dragon scale, just wrapped on the blank. I think the stripes that it creates um, are a, a bit more prominent when there's no texture below it. But then when you slide it here, they seem to, you know, be less, um, less prominent, you know, it, but I, I like it. I think it's, uh, I think it's neat and it almost kind of has, eh, I was gonna say kind of a pink hue to it, but it doesn't. It's just a different way the grays um, are reflecting off of it. So again, this is what it looks like um, without the dragon scale uh, mesh tape below it. And then this is what it looks like with the mesh tape below it. So I hope this video helps guys. I hope this helps, uh, Helps you make a better informed decision if you're deciding on purchasing this Hetna um, metallic zebra stripe thread. Um, I think it's a great product. Uh, if you're interested in purchasing it, um, there's a link in the description below to take you to Amazon. And then, of course, any purchase you make on Amazon through the link. Um, you know, if you do decide to purchase it, it's a great way to support the channel as I get a very small, small portion of that sale. And I thank you in advance for doing that. I hope this helps you make an informed decision on whether or not this is something you want to put in your toolkit. If you found value in this video, please feel free to share it with somebody that you think might enjoy it and might find it useful. Um, lastly, make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you're not yet uh, subscribed to the channel. And thanks for the support. Make sure you guys watch this next video here. Until next time, guys, take care.